Calculating change in pressure. In this problem it says at 19 degrees Celsius, the vapor pressure of pure ethanol is 40.0 mmHg. So if 10 grams of sodium hydroxide, molar mass 40.0 grams per mole, was dissolved in 922 grams of ethanol, what is the vapor pressure of the resulting solution? Assume the, so the solution is ideal. So what we have to remember is Raoult's law. We know that Raoult's law was give, give us the change in pressure, but we just want the pressure at the end. So to figure out the pressure at the end, which is PA, so let's say that's P, PA stands for ethanol, the pressure of ethanol after NaOH has been added, equals the mole fraction of A times the initial pressure, which is the pure pressure right here, of 40.0 mmHg of A. So PA initial equals 40.0 mmHg. So we have to figure out the mole fraction of ethanol here. So what we have to do is convert 10 grams of NaOH to moles, and those moles are going to be 0 0.250 moles of NaOH using the molar mass it gave us. Now 10 grams of ethanol using the molar mass it gave us and we when we convert we're gonna get that's gonna be or not 10 grams but 922 grams of ethanol is actually gonna give us a number of moles of 20.00 moles of ethanol. So there's a lot more ethanol than there is sodium hydroxide ethanol. So now that we have that, we can figure out the mole fraction. So the mole fraction A equals 20.00 moles of ethanol over 20.00 plus 0 0.250 because we need to have the total moles on the bottom. What we get then is the mole fraction is 0 0.988 when rounded. So that's the mole fraction. So now all we have to do to figure out PA is 0 0.988 times 40.0 mmHg and the pressure that we have now after so the sodium hydroxide has been added is 39.5 mmHg. So that is a pressure and we can calculate the change which we can see is actually 0 0.5 mmHg by subtracting the initial minus what it became. So here the answer is 39.5 mmHg.